Hello friends, today we will talk about automation. If you have a protected farm, what all can you automate and how it will help you. To make it easier for you, I will keep the technology aside and the functionality aside. Let me first talk about the functionality and then we will come to the technology, how it can be done and what it will help in. So when it comes to functionality, let me divide it into three parts. The first part is managing the climate managing the temperature, the humidity, the light intensity, the carbon dioxide or, or any other par climate parameter, let's say BPD for example, that you would want to manage in your farm. So first part is climate management. Second part is timing management. In any controlled environment farm, you'll have multiple equipment. You'll have pumps, you'll have, if, if it's a temperature control farm, you'll have a fan and pad system. You might have a fogger system, you might have an air circulation fans, you might have many other electrical equipment. So the second functionality or second kind of automation that you can do is time based, where you can control when to switch on and off a particular equipment. The third kind of automation functionality wise is works on the root zone, where we talk about what kind of nutrient you are giving to the plant, what is the kind of pH that is managed for the plant how to make sure that the plant always get the optimum amount of nutrient for their best growth. Now that was on the functionality side. Now let's say how it can be done using technology. So this is the first thing which I want you to see. see. This is called electro box. This is an electrical control unit. This controls all the equipment. You have your foggers, your fan and pad, your pumps, irrigation pumps, anything and any everything which operates on electricity gets controlled from here from here it also makes sure that your system gets load protection voltage protection fluctuation protection all those things but apart from that this has a timer so let's say for example you want uh, you you are in a hot environment and you want that every morning 10 o'clock the cooling system should switch on and every evening 6 o'clock it should switch off it can be done through this system you want that every two hour Irrigation pump should switch on for five minutes can be done through this system This is what the system does. It controls electrical equipment. It gives them an on and off signal Which can be timer based, but this is where it stops Now let's say temperature outside your farm is around 32 degrees centigrade and you want the cooling system to switch on and It has switched on and let's say after some time after let's say five minutes the temperature has come down to 25 now you want the cooling system to be switched off. The electrical control unit cannot do that. It can only do based on timer. So what you might have to do is you might have to say in this month, it should switch on at this time and should run for X minutes and then switch off. Then in next month, it should happen in a different way. Now that's not a very, very optimal approach. What would be a good solution is if the system can somehow sense the temperature. For example, if it knows temperature has recrossed 30, and the cooling system should switch on. Now temperature has come down to 25. To save electricity, cooling system should now switch off. To do that, the system needs to know what's the temperature, what's the climate parameters. All of that can be done through different sensors, which are climate control sensors. Now you can have sensors for temperature, you can have sensors for humidity, you can have sensors for VPD, you can have sensors for CO2, you can have sensors for uh, lux or light intensity, you can have multiple different kinds of sensors. And these sensors should be able to tell the electronic system that you should now switch on or switch off. The problem is this electronic system is not intelligent and sensor on the other side only do the job of sensing. They also are not intelligent. To bridge the communication gap between the two, there's another device called IoT Hub. You can think of IoT Hub like a CPU of a laptop or it's a, it's a brain of your computer, it's a brain of your farm. IoT Hub is the intelligence unit which reads the sensor values and then based on a system of different rules, it communicates to the electronic control box what it needs to do. And when I say intelligent, how intelligent it is? It's quite intelligent. Anything and everything that you can state in plain English, this IoT Hub is intelligent enough to understand and implement it. For example, let's say in my farm, I want that any time temperature crosses 30, cooling system switch should switch on. Any time temperature 
goes hits 25, the cooling system should switch off. And this should only happen between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. In addition, during this time, if the humidity is less than 40 percent, the fogging system should switch on. However, it should switch on only for half a minute or when the humidity reaches or till the humidity reaches 70 percent. And while it is doing that, it should check what was the last time the system was switched on. There should be at least a half an hour gap between two switching on instances of the system to make sure your plants do not get a lot of water deposit and leaves do not burn out. All of these things can be implemented through IoT Hub. So IoT Hub is essentially the brain of your farm which controls all of this. Not only that, this hub has IoT which means all of this data is available to you wherever you are. All you need is an internet connection. So you don't even need to be in your farm to know what's happening right now. Forget right now. What happened one month before? You can see it in, in your laptop, in your mobile device through this IoT hub. So this is about controlling the climate, switching on and off of different equipment, the timing control and the intelligence control. Now let's come to the last part which is about controlling the nutrients. Now when we talk about nutrients, there are two things that you need to take care of. The first one is that you should give your plant complete nutrition. And when I'm saying complete nutrition, your plant may need anywhere between 10 to 16 different elements, depending upon which variety of plant you are growing. Now, whether you are giving that or not is monitored through a parameter called TDS. We measure what is the strength of nutrient. And as the plant takes more nutrient, the strength goes down, then you need to add more nutrient to make sure the strength comes up. So that's one parameter, TDS or EC, electrical conductivity that you need to control. But that alone is not sufficient. You also need to control pH. Many a times you will see that EC is in the right zone, TDS is in the right zone, still your plant are showing some deficiency. That happens because your pH is not controlled. Think of it like a buffet system. You have spread out a buffet for your plants, you are giving them everything. Nitrogen is there, phosphorus is there, potassium is there, calcium, magnesium, everything is there that the plant needs. But you are not creating the optimal parameters for the plant to take that food. You have soup which is very chilled and you are giving a milkshake, milkshake which is boiling. Plant cannot have it. The soup needs to be hot or warm and the milkshake needs to be cold. pH is one parameter which controls how the nutrients are and how they will be absorbed by the plants. If the pH is not in the right zone, the plant will take some of the nutrients, it might not take some other and you will see the specific deficiencies in your plant. To ensure the control of pH and EC, the equipment which is used is called an auto -dozer. So let's say if you have a farm and you want to automate climate control, you want to automate nutrient control and you want to can automate irrigation control and you also want to save your laxity expense, you don't want your systems to keep running when they are when it's not needed to run, then what you can go for is you can go for a complete automation suit which has climate control modules depending upon which all sensors you want which has an electrical control box electrical control unit which can give instructions to different equipment to switch on or off you can have an iot control hub which can make all of these communicate to each other and also give you a visual display of what's happening and you can also have an auto dozer which also will be available with you to you with a visual i display. hope this information was helpful to you if you have any further doubts please feel free to reach out to us you can post comments, you can visit our website or you can call us. Whatever possible, wherever possible, we'll try to help you best. Thank you and have a good day.